<laughs> she crazy. It's like a music video right now. Trump is the president. So, what the fuck you gonna do about it? Alright y'all, back on a, back with it, with another one. Man, I just changed my phone number to my mommy for that job, cause y'all know we just hit that 500 subscribers, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shout out to y'all, man, we had 500 with it. Have to go check out this uh, Louis Vuitton exhibition. Got my guy Ulrich with me. This is crazy. Feels crazy. Boy, this room feels crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. It's like a music video right now. Check this out. It's like a fucking music video. So fly. Dang, dog, this shit so fly. Step out. It's fine. I need that for my daughter. It's crazy in here, man. It's crazy. I ain't even know he was coming here. I ain't bring my Louis bag with me. Fit kind of fire. I ain't gonna cap the fit fire, dog. This place is fire, man. This is fire. Jeez. <laughs> Make it move.
Okay, I can touch for the survey. All right, hold on. <laughs> uh, let's see. Ah. So what I do with this? I take it with me? Yes. Okay. This is the end? Okay, dang, this is so beautiful. Excuse me. Uh, I finally get an item. What's that? Chopstick. Oh shit! What the hell I get? A you survey? Want, you want to use them both and show us yours? Take them both, but don't thank this. I get to my and stuff. Yeah. I got Louis Vuitton Visionary. It's just oh, I got postcards, okay. I got postcards. You got chopsticks, huh? Uh, ah. I get to every day in Vietnam. Right. Uh, I think I get to my sister. So sometimes I just give you random stuff. Yeah, my friend, he got the Louis Vuitton tote bag. You got a tote bag from out here? You can just go from here. Yeah. I was. Alright, go stop. Alright. Damn. That was crazy. You say your boy won a tote bag? Yeah. Damn. That would have been bag, nice. Tote bag he could sell for 100 uh, pounds. Like uh, $110. Damn, that would have been nice to have. I think this I can sell and make money if I want. I need to go find the ATM and get the nail clipper. Yeah. I forget mine in Vietnam. Right. Yeah, that shit was fire. I ain't gonna lie, the experience was it was cool. Every single room had a different feeling. Um man, that was fire. But I feel like I probably spoiled it for some people, but nah, if you go in there and you actually feel it. That was a that was a, that was a cool experience. I didn't think it was gonna be that short though, but that was a very cool experience. And they gave they, they gave us gifts. So if you ever in Bangkok, come check out the Louis Vuitton exhibition. Um, I forgot the actual name of it, but if you just type in Louis Louis Vuitton exhibition, it's gonna pop up. Uh, so we about to go hit this other spot. I check back in. Check back in with y'all in a few. Feel me. Ice. Ice. Ice, only ice. Only ice, yeah. Okay, over there. Okay. Is it a cup or do you have a cup? No, no, cup. Okay. Come here. Cup okay. Here. Okay. What we got? This a little small baby one. That's it. You just want the top of ice and you can put whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's all it's just... I got some of that drink still. So I ain't never sip it. You want some? Yeah. I still got some of that lean. I never drunk it yet. You want some? Yeah. 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 Sip. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I take one of mine. Ooh, 
все. This one is more sweet. First high school, the yeah. first place you came to. And you came to Bangkok. Yeah. When did we become legal here? Like four years ago, I think. Okay. Three, four years ago. What's the name of this area? I don't know, but this road is a two-step road. Okay.
urban jungle. Well, I was about to come here too. God damn. Fuck. Shit's fire. <laughs> Always open if you wanna come here. It's close to you. It's close to me? Yeah, it's somewhat. Hey. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Truly beautiful. Oh. Shoo. Life is good. In a beautiful place like Bangkok. Can't beat that. Did y'all see the sunset? No. 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 Oh shit. See that back there? Really like what y'all see on the movies, huh? You got a nigga way in Bangkok sipping, you hear me? <laughs> That's crazy, man. Crazy man. I'm doing this for y'all. I'm doing this for y'all. I'm doing this for y'all. My, my New Orleans niggas. You hear me? Y'all know who y'all is. But uh what Donald Trump just won a Donald Trump just won an election? I don't see how people who thought that actually thought that he wasn't gonna win it. I don't see how people thought that he actually wasn't gonna win it. What's up, cat? Sorry, cat don't know no English. I don't think he don't even know he's a cat. He's with a, he, he's. This might may might be the same word, but Donald Trump won the election. How the hell did y'all think he wasn't gonna win? If you if you thought it it would have went any other way, I don't know. I, I I feel like I I I I don't know. I can't trust your judgment if you if you thought anything else was gonna happen. Yeah. We're going to talk about it when we get to the crib. All right, y'all. So, I had to come over this one. Donald Trump win the election, y'all.
Donald Trump won the election. Donald Trump won the election. So, nigga? The fuck? First thing first. I don't understand how some of y'all didn't expect the outcome to be what it is. Like, I don't care which candidate you like the most. If you actually thought Kamala was gonna win the election, you, I don't know, you probably need to reevaluate yourself. If I know that you actually thought that she was gonna win and I know you, then I, if I didn't already think you was a little, a little slow, then I really think you are now. All right, come on, bro. Y'all honestly thought, y'all honestly thought that Trump wasn't gonna win. Like, I'm older now, so I pay, you know, the presidential elections every four years, I paid a little more attention this time. And I'm, I'm, I'm way in Thailand. But, you know, I gotta live half my year, you know what I'm saying, in America too. That's the plan, dude. Three months in America, spend with my daughter over the summer and do the rest out here and travel around the world and vlogging, but. So, and I love America, bro. I love the red, white, and blue. That's my place, you know? It's just a little different right now. But, like, looking at the, 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 the base, bro, like, come on, bro. Like, it gotta be a lot of bots out here or something like that, because if y'all looked at those debates and thought, Look at, at the debate and thought Kamala had a chance. You are insane. Me, I fuck with Trump. I don't know, you know, it seemed like everybody just turned their back on him. I thought dude was good until he started running for president. That's, that's what they say. Everybody loved him until he ran for president. Trump a little disruptive to the matrix, that's what it is. Trump, Trump, Trump got the matrix. He, 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 he got it on a different type of time. You know what I'm saying? He not, he, he don't need the bag. He, it's not like he got billionaires and millionaires trying to give him money to, 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 to make certain regulations and stuff like that. Like, Trump already got his money. So all those people who've been sponsoring all these candidates for so long, you know, they pissed off. You know, they ain't, they, they, they lost power. Trump shook, shook shit up. And to be honest, I never ever heard the dude say anything racist ever. Like, show me the, show me the, send me a link, show me the clip where this dude ever disrespected any race. Maybe some nations, but that's that. But Trump is the president. So, what the fuck you gonna do about it? Still live the same life, go do the same job, be mad about the same shit that don't even matter, that, 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 that doesn't even matter. Well, what you gonna do? What Marlo told Fruit? What he said, uh, when my numbers was low, and what he said, when my numbers was low and I was running the shop, I surely did this, something about it. When my numbers was low, when I was running the shop, oh, he said, when I was running the shop and my numbers was low, I surely did something about it. Like, what you gonna do about it? You mad? What you gonna do about it? Besides be mad, yeah, that's why I like, like, I, like, more recently, I decided to not give 
any energy towards things about the transatlantic slave trade and segregation and stuff like that. Why? Because just to keep myself sane, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't, re I didn't see documentaries and stuff like that and that shit made me hate white people for a little bit. And I'm like, nah, but I got white friends, I can't do that. Like, I'm protecting my energy, bro. I'm protecting my energy. Y'all niggas ready to die behind this red and blue shit. And I ain't talking about Crip and Blood, I'm talking about freaking political parties. Y'all ready to die behind this shit. For what? For what? Like, like what is, what is anything gonna change? Like, your life ain't about to change, my guy. Over this red and blue shit, you know? It ain't gonna change too much, but what you gonna do about it? That's what I wanna know. Cause everybody always complaining, and talking and talking. What the fuck we gonna do about it? Me, I don't, I don't, I don't put my new energy towards that stuff. Cause why? Why? Still gotta live my life. Still gotta pay my bills. Maybe if I was a millionaire, I mean a billionaire, and it had something to do with my taxes or something, maybe. But you know, what the fuck you gonna do about it? That's what I wanna know. Like, like, what you gonna do about it? You could just leave the country too and just not even have to worry about none of that shit <laughs> at the same time. But niggas ain't living like that. You could just say F all of this and do like me and just go to another country, a better one. Well, I ain't gotta worry about people about to riot over Republicans and Democrats and stuff like that. Like the country about to be in a frenzy for the next week or month, maybe. And nothing too crazy might not happen, but just a, a whole lot of unnecessary conversations are about to be had when you go off to work, when you go to your nine to five, Nothing wrong with a nine to five, but when you go to your nine to five job, all right, now you got a new conversation to talk about. The elections. Some people acting like it's the end of the world. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, uh, segregation is gonna come back. When, when was America ever great during slavery? Oh, they're gonna bring slavery back. Open y'all minds, man. <laughs> Open y'all minds. Ain't nothing even about to really change for you. You just mad, you just emotional about some bullshit. You mad about some BS. Why you put why you why you letting why you letting some shit you just see on the TV? That could, it could all be a hoax. It could all be just an act. And you letting this 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 act get a reaction out of you. Man, you can be doing something better with your energy. Instead of worrying about Republican and Democrats. Got my shirt right here. Drying and stuff. Should have closed that, but I come on man. What you gonna do about it though? That's what I wanna know. If you mad, what the fuck you gonna do about it? Cause I don't know. I I I I'm, I'm I've been a doer my whole life. If I had a problem. In my face, I surely did something about it. When I wasn't feeling good in a certain place, I moved around, you know? And sometimes it, it costs to do that. Sometimes it costs to do that. You know what I'm saying? That shit costs, boy. I'm way out here right now, my kid in America. What that shit costs, boy? That shit costs, nigga. It ain't even just money, but that shit costs money. Holiday season right now, you know what I'm saying? That shit costs money. Then when I go back out there for the summer and I, I, I be with my, with my shorty, I gotta give her the best time ever. That costs money, boy. But like I told y'all before, men do what they want, boys do what they can, you know? 
If I was in the country and I wasn't liking what's going on, I surely would have did something about it. You see me right here. No? And yeah, it costs sometimes. You gotta pay to play sometimes. What the fuck are you gonna do about it? That's what I want to know. That's my main question. Trump won the election, y'all mad. What you gonna do about it? Besides go have a conversation, get your emotions all worked up and all of that stuff. You, you hot now, you pissed off. What you gonna do about it? Come on, man. I gotta free y'all minds from the matrix. Like, yeah, you see me wild out? Y'all see me out here? Sometimes I go out and wild out. But I'm just human, bro. I'm just human. I'm just human, just showing y'all my human experience. I ain't perfect, but I do want y'all. I do want to want, want y'all to free y'all minds. You know, I'm out here smoking weed, sipping lean way in Bangkok. I ain't perfect. I don't expect y'all to be perfect. I just don't want y'all to be dumb. I just don't want y'all to be dumb. That's it. Like damn, bro. Like my life. I actually, I feel like I made my life way more simple by not giving energy towards those things. Like, it's that simple, it's that simple. Just the, the art of not giving a fuck is that simple. To just walk away and not care and keep it pushing. Cause you can't do nothing about a, a, a lot of things. You take L's, you can't do nothing about a lot of things. You gotta keep it pushing, so, you know? I feel like y'all creating L's in y'all head. Y'all putting, Y'all putting uh, certain certain uh, fights in y'all head, you know what I'm saying, and losing them. This don't even have to be a fight that's going on with you. You, don't, you, don't, you ain't gotta be fighting that war, but you working yourself up. You putting, you putting losses in your system, you know what I'm saying? Pissing you off. And it probably don't do nothing. It probably don't, don't you probably get pissed off and that's it, you just keep, keep on moving everyday life, but I'd rather keep on moving everyday life without being pissed off about something that I can't, I can't control. I guess that's just what I'm gonna leave y'all with, like. <laughs> Trump won the election, what you gonna do about it, my nigga? What you gonna do? I'm out here in fucking Bangkok, Thailand, you know? I'm trying to figure a way, figure some shit out out here. But I'll be back in the States. And when I go back to the States, I feel like it's, it's not gonna, it's, nothing's gonna change. Like, I just hope people stop all the just being dumb, all the fear mongering, having people scared, thinking the country about the, all of a sudden some Illuminati shit about to happen, Mark of the Beast about to come through, and all the black people getting sacrificed and the race war is coming. Come on, bro. Do you really see that happening? Not even ever, if it does happen, I'm wrong, but. Come on, bro. Y'all smarter than that. A lot of times I just be in certain rooms and I be hearing people talk and I be reading certain things and I'm like, grown ass people. Just like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Like, what the fuck are you talking about? Come on, man. Like, y'all adding this, this dumb shit to y'all human experience, you know? Like, what the fuck are y'all talking about? That's, that's some American shit. I'm pretty sure other countries have other days going on, but when I be in America, I be having certain conversations, it's like niggas really hypnotized with the media and all of that stuff. I just gotta look at niggas like, what the fuck are you talking about? Why, why do you care so much? Why do you care so much? Why do people have to get violent behind different ideologies? Why do y'all care so much? Like, why y'all, why people just can't let people be? Come on, man, free your minds, man. Free your minds, free your minds, free your minds. Stop being dumb. I know, I know one thing for sure, y'all don't like to be called dumb. But a lot of y'all looking real dumb right now. A lot of y'all looking real, 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 real dumb. Come on, man. Trump the president, now what? What the fuck you gonna do, nigga? Just go ass, nigga.
Scarass nigga. Scarass nigga. Fuck you gonna do about it, boy? You backstage at a crime wave, asking for change. You a cave? I'm a great grandson of a slave, plus a king. I'm the ultimate. Robin Hood for all of the hoods that's less fortunate. My circumstances force me to write. I'm on some dire shit, higher than a mountain cliff. Gotta get where the fountain is for my youth to live. Sayonara with a single slice. I'm intermingled with killers, and they always like to roll the dice. Buying money, niggas for real. Won't let you stay at night. I'm real petty. My steel. Chevy do nine seconds in a quarter mile. Man. I'm a quarter down. I seen Lucas step back I know this and didn't think he knocked it down. I shake a pound for the get back and hit the town. Make it rain for a whole month. I'm solo, can't even finish a whole blunt. 22, leave a little hole like a whole punch. What's the free lunch kids gonna do now that it's home lunch? Uh. No silence, we off items, we sell hope, Obama Biden. We sell dope, but we enlightened, head in the vice. Eric the Red with 40 Vikings, how we hunt you. Bruiser Brigade, do what we want to, ready to wet the party up. And whoever in that motherfucker, cool heads prevail, but it's whatever motherfucker, this the night shift. Three long sticks, call it a trident. When I flip, niggas gon' scream and hit the cement, nigga.